Hallelujah. Now let me honor you with this yeah. and that and the other. Yeah. Well, but the Bible says that David yeah. just shook them off yeah. and said, I ain't tried them yet. Yeah. But they might have been praying for yeah. yeah. And so what he done was yeah. he went down there and let five, he got five yeah. smooth stones out of the brook. And he pulled them up out of the brook and had a strip and a, a, a staff in his hand. Yeah. And he stuck them things in that shepherd's bag. Yeah. Hallelujah, there's a message in that shepherd's bag. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my. There's some things you'll find in it. I've got out there with Goliath and he said oh, that I come to you come to me with the spirit and the sword. And he said I come to you in the name of the Lord. Amen. Yes. Yes. Bless you. And you know what he told Goliath church? He said Goliath I want the whole world to know that there's a God in Israel. Yes. That's right. Yes. Amen. I want all of Alabama to know yeah. that there's a God here. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Daniel said it. He said, when your soothsayers couldn't uh, do nothing, yeah. and when they couldn't tell you the dream, right. he yeah. said, the magicians couldn't Good. do it. Yeah. Your astrologers couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, they even looked at Nebuchadnezzar and said, the only person that could do this is God. Yeah. Right. That's what they told him. Yeah. And then he looked around and he said, well, let me tell you something, Nebuchadnezzar. There is a God, God in heaven. Yeah. That's what he told him. Yeah. And so you know the story. He kills Goliath. And he cuts his head off. And then, Bruce, we often stop that story right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about God delivering you out of something. Everybody else hiding in the mountains and in yeah. the caves. But Saul, yeah. that old coward of a king, that wouldn't go out there and yeah. face nobody. Uh, just like the world is today. Yeah. And most church folk is today. Yeah. Uh, but let me yeah. tell you what you'll find, David, the next time you see him. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says he went into his tent and laid everything down yeah. and said that he was talking that the lies had around right. uh, him. Yes. Yeah. I'm talking about daddy, don't sit down on what God's done for you. I'm uh, totally the right. Uh, show the world that there's a God in this world. Yeah. I'm telling you tonight, brothers, that uh, we've got something uh, to tell you.
young baby got out and he walked up to that man in the eyes like Brother Mickey. And he had tears in his eyes. He said, son, your granddaddy's gone. And he said, but about an hour and 46 minutes before he died, yeah. he said, God yeah. saved his soul. Yeah. And I come yeah. and I say it, man. I will never forget it. I'm talking yeah. about we have got something to tell. Yeah. 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 Preach it. That's right. Bless you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Bless you. Yeah. Bless you. I got to tell all the recordings have been saved. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, there's a woman one time. Won't we'll ever get it preached. No. Nah. Unless you don't do that. You don't do that. Yeah. Won't <laughs> we'll ever get it preached, Brother Gary. But there was a woman one time. Jesus was sitting there and he said, I tell you what, uh, man. He said, I need to go by yeah. Samaria. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He said, I, I'm going to have to. Yeah, I must go. My, matter of fact, I said, I must needs go by there. Yeah. 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 Well, no choice. Yeah. And so they, uh, they said, well, I tell you what, Jesus, while you sit here on the well and rest yourself, we'll go and buy some food and we'll come back and have a picnic. Yeah. I don't want the Bible says. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Have a good picture. Right? <laughs> while he, they're gone, Jesus is sitting there on the well. Yeah. There's a woman put out of the custom of the women at that time because they used to come early in the morning and get their water. Yeah. It's about noon time, I guess, hot yeah. of the day. Yeah. All of a sudden, here she come, yeah. but because she was living such a defeated life, she didn't want to be around nobody else. Yeah. She was ashamed, Brother Ricky, of the life she was living. Right. And so she didn't want to be around nobody else. Right. And so she was not expecting nobody to be at that well when That's she right. got to her. Yeah. So, but when she got to her, there was a man sitting on the well. Yeah. And he said, boy, I'm thirsty. Give me something to drink. Yeah. And she said, hey, the well's deep and you ain't got yeah. nothing to drink. Yeah. Try it yeah. He said, if you knew the gift of God. Yeah. 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 And you knew who it was that was asking you a drink, and you would ask of him a drink, and he said, and I put it in you that like well water, I'm springing up in that ice and light. And she said, Are you greater than our father, Jacob? She said, He's He's drunk out of this well. His camels is drunk out of this well. His cattle is drunk out of this well. Yeah. Yes. Are you greater than him? Yes. And I should, they might have said, well, I am. But don't tell us what he said. But they got to talk. And she said, I know that when the Christ comes, he's going to tell us all things. Whatsoever, just tell us everything we've done. He said, well, I tell you what. He said, do this for me. She said, what's that? He said, go get your husband. Brother Kevin, she said, I ain't got no husband. He said, you rightly say it. He said, you don't have a husband. He said, you've had five husbands. Yeah. Wonder, wonder, she, wonder how many steps she took back when they said that. Like, yeah. Wonder how that hit her. Yeah. He said, you've had five, yeah. and the one that you're with now ain't your husband. Yeah. Bless you. Amen. Yeah. Probably just like we used to do, talking about the old preacher. So, boy, he read my title just right up yeah. one side and down the other. But I'm talking about, Brother Gary, we've got something to take. Yeah. Uh, and so she got to talking to the Lord there. And they got to talking about this and that. They got to talk about worshiping. And she said, Now, you know, y'all say we ought to worship in Jerusalem. Our fathers say that we ought to worship in the mountains. What sayest thou? Jesus said, There's going to come a time. Oh, when you ain't going to go to what Jerusalem and worship? They said, you ain't going to the mountains and the worship. He said, by the way, you're worshiping that that you know not of. And what a lot of us is there today. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. 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 I'm talking about how we'll flock to every uh, thing we'll ever flash in light, uh, every drum beat, every piano key we'll flock to it, and we ain't got a clue what's going on. Yeah. But he got done. He said, brother, he told her, he said, well, let me tell you something. He said, I, I, I can put it as plain as this. If you worship God, you must. 
You must worship him in spirit That's and truth. Right. He right. said, for God is a spirit. Yeah. Right. And them that worship him must worship him in spirit yeah. and truth. Yeah. And, he said so. and so, they yeah. hash things out there. And got, got the yeah. theologies in line, I guess you'd say. Uh, she got taught by about worship there for a minute. Yeah. And all of a sudden, she did not go back home and lock herself up into the house. She had something to take. She left the old life that she was living in. She left the water pot set by the well. But the very thing she was going to do, but she left it sitting right where it was at. And she went back to the city of all of them folks and that she was ashamed to see herself about. And said, hey, I've come to see a man and has told me all things of whatsoever I've done. And Brother Kevin said, is not this the Christ? Hallelujah tonight. And we've got something to tell. I don't know about you, but I guess you do. I've got something to tell tonight. I was one kick to the head up from going to hell. I was gone.
that you can look at it a lot of different ways. As the seven church ages, the seven dispensations of time, and all of this, that, and other, we look go all through all that. But then, every church, if you read after and look at commentaries, and I do it, because I ain't smart enough to do this on my own, like me and the Lord, and where he lived. And I got to look at Brother Gary at all these different churches, and every one of them was known for something. One of them was known as the persecuted church. One of them was known as this church and that church and the returning church and they would turn back to God yeah, and all of this that and other. But the last church mentioned there is the church of Laodicea. the sea. Yeah. And there's a bunch of different names for the church of Laodicea. the sea. But one of the ones that I've spread that it seems to be the most prominent is that it was the rejected church. Yeah. And if you want to say that we're living in the lay of the sea and age, then we are the rejected church. Yes, we are. Why? Yeah. Why, brother? Yeah. It ain't his fault. No. He told lay of the sea, he said, I wish that you were either hot or cold. That's right. He said, because if you're lukewarm, he said, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. You know what that means? He's going to vomit you out. That's right. That means if you're wishy-washy in this thing, daddy, you're making God sick of his stomach. That's right. That's, right. That's, That's, right. Right. That's, That's right. right. That's what it means. That's what it means. But he got down from there and he said, now you say you're in need of method. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. They said, but you're naked. Yeah. You're blind. Yeah. All of these other things. He said, but you're telling everybody you don't need a fight. Oh, no wonder yeah. it's a rejected church. Yeah, We're not presenting nothing to them that they would even want. Bless you. Come on. How many times has it been said, if old so-and-so's living right, I'm living just as good as he is? Yeah. 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 But daddy, I've got a different story to tell. Yeah. Yeah. It means something. Yeah. If they can't see the difference in us right. and the story that we're telling, right. but rather than the drop down the street or yeah. this or that or the other, and I'm not making a lot of them, uh, the only difference between me and the drop right down the road is that I've got God in my heart and He don't. That's, right. uh, that's the only difference. Yeah. Uh, that rich young ruler come to Jesus yeah. and said, I've kept all the commandments. Uh, I've done everything yeah. that I've been told to do. Yeah. And Jesus said, yeah. yes. But you lack one thing. And so you need to sell off everything you own and come and follow me and give it to the poor. And the only thing, and the only difference between me and them is the blood. But we got something to take. Yes, we do. Now, when you tell them tonight, is it making somebody want it? Amen. Amen. I've heard it said so many times. Now I've heard it from Daddy. And you know, I thought really Daddy was the only one that it probably ever happened to. But now, where I'm pastoring at now, down there at Bethany, undoubtedly there was a lot of good old saints of God that used to go to that church. That has done died out and went on. But there's one in particular. <laughs> They used to say it like so. Yeah. Yeah. That I've heard not just from you, do you? but said they was lost. Yeah. Away from God. Hadn't been in months. Yeah. I'm talking about just, or maybe saved and say you're at the grocery store. Yeah. And I've heard Daddy tell him. Yeah. Said they sitting on the hood of that car. Yeah. And say, so Sister Eileen, pull up and get out and go in the grocery store and he hated to see her come. Sure did. <laughs> and uh, I've heard Daddy tell her, Ricky said she'd come out, put the groceries in the car, and start heading toward that car. Yeah. Just to say, no. yeah. and, and said this, now we've got something to take. Yes, yeah. we do. Now, had, and I've heard you tell it, had yeah. every right but to walk up to you and tell you just how sorry That's you right. was. Yes, and is. tell you just what was yes. for and how God yes. ought to do to you yes. and all of this I know. Oh, but she said,
said, he said she'd lean over and kiss you on the forehead. That's right. And say, James Robert. Yeah. Woo! Come on. I yeah. love you. Yeah. And make the church yeah. love you. More than that. More than that. Jesus. God loves you. Yeah. We got yeah. something yeah. foul today. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've heard it all down through the years, the last four years. I've raised another one there at Bethel. I've been saying, you know what it does? It put a thirst in my heart. Yes. Uh, yes. How many times do people get saved today? And you hear them stand up and say, I wanted what so and so had. I wanted what this one had. And I wanted what that one had. And they, what they wanted was Jesus. And they was just saying it in the human vessel. It's all they was saying. I'm mean, I'm telling you, Daddy, we've got something to tell tonight. And if we ought to make it, I don't want people are hungry and thirsting after it. That's right. Amen. 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 Yeah. We have really run for what? Bless you. Mom, what? Bless you. Mm -hmm. And don't you get me wrong. When God comes back, just right there, I'll stand there and I'll preach to them just as hard as I can preach. Yes. But sometimes, You've told me time and time again to be wise as a serpent, yeah, yeah, yeah. heartless as a dove. Yeah. 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 Ricky, the hardest line that I've ever done is put my arms. And y'all can laugh at me. Y'all can say you're wrong for this if y'all tell That's to see somebody living in sin. And you preach your heart out to them, baby. Yeah. And they're not care not one little bit about it. Yeah. And you have to wrap your arms around them and tell them you love them. That's, right. That's a hard thing to do. Yeah. Because you want to separate yourself yeah. from them and just sit there and tell them. Yeah. But one on one. Yeah. But what we got to keep doing yeah. is oh, put one foot good. in front of the other. Right. And keep preaching <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I told you the other night, church. I told our church the other day. Over yonder, when they got to about them lepers, you know, we talked yeah. about last night where they could either go in, they could go out and die, or they could lay right there. Yeah. The king, before that, did he say something? Yeah. That woman looked up and said, Hey, my boy, my baby, and we ate him. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't do that. Yeah. But that king looked at her and said, Hey, if the Lord don't help you, yeah. ain't nothing I can do. That's right. That's what he said, brother. Yeah. We ought to make the Lord so desirable mm -hmm. that they just fly up to me. Mm -hmm. I don't have nothing else to tell you. I don't have a grand message. I don't have wisdom of man. Mm -hmm. I don't have enticing words. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to get you to flee. Right. All I can do is just preach to you what God's laid on my heart mm -hmm. and then live that between you and him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, and I, I battled that for a long time at the altar call. I don't hardly talk sometimes at altar call. I let them sing, and then when they get done, I just walk right back. back and, I, and I asked Brother Eddie one time, I said, Brother Eddie, I said, that's bothering me. I said, I've heard you get in the altar call. And I'm talking about speak words of poetry, it sounds like. Yeah. And I'm talking about, and he's just got a gift about yes, it. He I'm talking about he can pull your heartstrings harder than anybody I've ever seen. God bless you. But Brother Ricky and I, and that bothered me, Daddy. I thought, why can't I do that? Brother Eddie said, sometimes I just, just best to get out of the water. That's right. He said, when you get done preaching, you're done. Yeah. It's between them and God. That's right. He said, there's just a few times God gives me something to say. God bless you. And that really helped me, Bruce. Yes. But we ought to live our lives, not just in heat. That's right. But our chum. Yeah. Right. Our chum. Yeah. 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 Y'all, some of y'all may know it, but y'all don't have one of the biggest blessings in your life running to Jeff Hilbert at Walmart. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. He's saying what he is. He's going to start crying. Yeah. 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 And he's going to start talking to you about the Lord. That's right. Yeah. Every time. Yes. I don't care where you see him, man. Yeah. He's going to. Yeah. And I get to, I, I live right there by him right now, and I get to see him wild. Bless you. I love Brother Jim. Yeah. And I'll tell you what it'll do. It'll make your Bible go to me. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. In the funeral home. Yeah. That's right. Do you have something to tell? Bless you. Amen. Do you have that story to tell? Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. Maybe you don't tonight. Amen. Amen. If you keep reading in Revelation, you'll find out, Daddy, 
Yeah. Where old John got over there one time, and they slain that angel, come down and put one foot on land and one foot on sea. Right. And somewhere around in there, that, either that chapter or right in there, the Bible said that he heard seven thunders under their voice. Yeah. Yeah. And they started talking. Yeah. And old John started. He started right. to write that down. And John said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. right. <laughs> Still that enough in your heart. Yeah. Now he knew what they said. Yeah. Yeah. And if you go and do your studying, Listen. this is what you'll find out first. This is amazing to me. Matthew was wrote about a coming king. Mark was wrote about a servant. Yeah. Luke was wrote about the Son of Man. You get to St. John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now this is what history says. Now this, because when by all the poor, by the end of the Bible, John's still on the Isle of Pat. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. just pinning stuff down. Yeah. But, but history tells us that he's the only disciple that was not born. Yeah. They tried. Yeah. They didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, and man. what the Bible, yeah. what the history books tells us is this. Yeah. Is that he come back? He finally got off the Isle of Patmos, and he went back to the Church of Ephesus, and he died of old age. Yeah. 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 Now, now, like now, if, if this is wrong, this is just what I've been studying. And if this is wrong, this this somebody's bite off on their history, and I wasn't there, so I don't know. I can just tell you what it wrote. Yeah. But they say, Bruce that John wrote the book of Revelation before he wrote the book of St. John. Yeah. And that St. John was wrote about the Son of God. Right. That's right. Yeah. right. Now when you're studying Revelation yeah, you write your and you're seeing all of this and yeah. other, go back and read St. John yeah. and watch yeah. reveal yeah. the one that, that yeah. other disciple yeah. Yeah. that got to go into yeah. Pilate's hall. Yeah. Yeah. When nobody else did. That other disciple yeah. that Jesus looked at Peter and said, if I tell him to, he won't die until I come back. Yeah. That was John. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Think about what all John had to tell. Yeah. Think about Sister yeah. Bonnie Sunday after Sunday at the church of Ephesus. <laughs> all the little kids coming up. Say an old, old man John, preacher John, tell us again yeah. about the yeah. seven vows. Yeah. And tell us again. Oh, my. And then all yeah. of a sudden, somebody might be reading a transcript yeah. and say, John, tell us about them seven thunders. Yeah. 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 Can't do it. Yeah. Can't do it. Yeah. Not. yeah. Think about how hard that would be, though. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to want to tell everybody. That's right. And you know what that makes me want to do, Daddy? Just by what he told us. Yeah. Just, yeah. he told me yeah. just enough yeah. that I want to be a living right yeah. so that one of these days yeah. I get to find out of what the what seven thunders yeah. is of. Yeah. He told me some things. Uh, everything that was written down is not in the book. Yes. I mean, everything that Christ done is not wrote down in the book, did it? Yes. Uh, but the Bible says that these are written yes. uh, that you might believe that he yes. is the Son of God. But uh, tonight, we've got some things to tell us. And we ought to tell them tonight. And uh, we ought to go to the highways and the hedges and compel them. Uh, tell them. I uh, beg them to come. Amen. That's what he does. Yeah. Brother Ricky, he said, go and tell them. They come back and say, ain't nobody coming. He said, you go and compel them. Yeah. What he was telling them, do everything you possibly can do. And I'll compromise it, brother. That's right. That's when right. I say that, yeah. don't pull up every hot dog and hamburger stuff right. and try to Bless get them. Yeah. Bless you. I'm talking about giving them the gospel. The gospel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What would have happened to John the Baptist if he had said, hey, disciples, go find out if that's him. Yeah. Or should we look for another? Yeah. And they got over there and said, you know what? John's fixing to die. Yeah. I've been kind of jealous of John. <laughs> yeah. But he's been, Jesus told us in one place over there that they'd never been a prophet born of a woman like John right. the Baptist. Yeah. Right. Not a man. 
Rose, what if them two boys would have said, I'll tell you what? Just let him die. Yeah. You say this? Huh? Christ said, go tell him. Yeah. Yeah. Go tell him yeah. mm -hmm. the things that you've seen and the things that you've heard. Yeah. You got the blind yeah. see. Yeah. yeah. The deaf's hear. The lame's walk. Yeah. 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 The dumb's talk. Yeah. That's right. The dead yeah. being raised. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but that ain't all of them. That's it. Come on. <laughs> now, that's all the things that they say. That's right. Yeah. 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 Now, we got to tell you, John, what we've heard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brother Gary, the poor. Yeah. yeah. The God from the gospel. Yeah. 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 Preach. That's me. Yeah. 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 What if John, what if they hadn't went back? John with a died broken heart. That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, believing on somebody yes, just trying God to make is. sure uh, but he yes. died a broken hearted miserable individual uh, but I believe yes. I'm talking about he sensed that old backbone yes. up yes. one more time and said yes. alright that is him yes. but yes but I've got something to tell you yes. have you got it to tell you you say Zach what is there to tell you he left the portals of glory yes. for you yeah, right. And you, he died, walked a, Brother Gary walked a sinless, spotless life. That's right. right. For me, no God was found in his mind. That's right. Was beat, mocked, ridiculed. Yeah, bless you. You do realize one of the, uh, probably one of the most humiliating things that's ever happened to a man. They took every stitch of clothes they had and ripped it off of them. That's right. Yeah. And paraded the mm -hmm. God of glory. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And ridiculed him. Yeah. 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 They did. And he done it for you. That's right. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't have done it. Yeah. I know that. And I've got too much of a plumbing in there. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to stand it. Yeah. I can only take so much. But he said, I love it. Yeah. That's God. what we have to take. Yeah. You say, Zach, what is it? First John tells us this. Come on, brother, if you get the church sign. You get some verse for sign. But so, first John tells us this. You, you really want to get it. It said that he lived, dead, we beheld him in our hands. And down there, I think it's verse 5. It says, This then yeah, yeah, yeah. is the message. Yeah. What is it? That's Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Amen. If I preach any other time, I'm accursed. That's right. Amen. I could get up here, Brother Ricky. I could if I wanted to. I could get up here tonight and I could tell you everybody here how to unlock your destiny. Yeah. I could tell you about the breakthrough. I could pass the altar and play around and say, I tell you what, if you sow a hundred dollars to my ministry, yeah. God will give it back to you four months. Yeah. And you know what will end up happening at the end of my life? I'm going to die and go to hell. That's right. I know that. That's right. You know why? Because I preached another gospel. That's right. All I can tell you about is Jesus. That's right. If I get away from him, I miss them all. Right. Do you have it to tell tonight? Yeah. Do you have that story? Yeah. Do you have that confidence that when you lay your head down tonight, yeah. 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 Yeah, he, he sung about it. Yeah. The first time he came, he came in a lonely manger. That's right. mm -hmm. But I've got something to tell you. Yeah. When he comes back, he ain't going to yeah. be really known as Jesus. He's going to be known as the King of Kings yeah. and the Lord of Lords. Yeah. But when he comes back, he's going to be known as Alpha and Omega. Of yeah. the beginning and the end, the first and the last, of the root and the offspring of David. Yeah. And that's what he's going to be known about. And we've got something to tell tonight. Yeah. And you want to say tonight, I don't like reading the back of the book. But the book of Revelation is the greatest revelation of Jesus Christ yeah. that you've got in all other of the 65 books. And the first verse says, This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. He's revealed more in that than the other book of the Bible. Hallelujah. We've got something to tell tonight. Amen. 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 Amen.
If you need to pray tonight, do you have this to take? Mine ten. Best thing ever happened to me. That's right. 
June the 22nd, 1971. Brother, I found him. I had tried, I had tried. Sister Anna, I had searched and I had searched and I had searched, trying to find something in life. Yeah. Brother Farron would give me some peace. Give me just a little bit of relief. Huh? I don't know about you, but I got tired. I got sick and tired of the way I was living. I got tired of the way the devil was treating me, the way he was doing me. Yeah. Brother, one night I was about in the old-fashioned office. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, I found joy and I found peace. Yeah. I what you need. found victory in my life. Yeah. Brother, if that had done for me, he will do for you. Yeah. Now, if you hadn't got nothing to tell, if you'll make your trip right up here, Brother, get a hold of him. Let him get a hold of you. I promise you this. Tomorrow night you'll have something to take. Amen. 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 One more verse of song. Do you need to pray? Do you need some encouragement? Do you need some help? Whatever it is. Whatever it is. God has it for you. Anyone got a word now? No. 